boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Mr. Ramaswamy, for months you campaigned as a unifier. Then you stood up at the first debate and attacked, dum, 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 dum. attacked all of your competitors as bought and paid for. The second debate, you changed your tune, saying these are good people on this. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Stage, admitting you can come across as a bit of a know-it-all, and rejecting the practice of personal insults. By debate number three, you called Nikki Haley corrupt. A okay. Accused Ron DeSantis of wearing high heels and told Ambassador Haley she should keep a closer eye on her daughter. Can you see how this has led some to conclude you are not, in fact, a unifier? and to question your authenticity. Okay, I'm listening, you have my attention. Megan, I think there's a time and place for everything. We need somebody in the White House who absolutely is going to be a fighter when- Stop it! And it counts, and I did say that there were some good people on that stage in that third debate. Doug Burgum was on that stage at that time, and I'll, I'll say that joke. Jokingly, Ron DeSantis is a good person too. I want to go back, though, to Nikki Haley's comment from earlier that she is somehow not responding to the will of these donors. Owners. Nikki, you were bankrupt when you left the UN. After you left the UN, you became a military contractor. You actually started <laughs> joining service on the board of Boeing, whose back you scratched for a very long time, and then gave foreign multinational speeches like Hillary. You're on your own. Clinton is, and now you're a multimillionaire. That math does not add up. It adds up to the fact that you are corrupt. <laughs> and when I said they were bought and paid for, I meant the Republican establishment, not the Democratic establishment. Dude, come on.